people welcome back to another vlog I thought it'd be fun to do a few little days in my life kind of wrapping up the end of summer and starting the beginning of fall because I have a few fun things planned the next few days we went to the Dominic fight concert on Sunday and that was my second time seeing him and it was so good you guys he's definitely one of my favorite artists and i almost didn't go so i'm glad that the guys dragged me and were like you are coming with us because it was so worth it and then i also spent a little weekend away just like a little girls weekend in a small town just to kind of escape the city for a little bit which was also so good i didn't vlog a ton because i really was trying to spend time and be present with them but this morning i am craving a pumpkin cream cold brew because the Starbucks fall menu is out so I kind of want to start getting into the fall spirit like just a little bit I'm still savoring the end of summer but like fall me is creeping out so I'm gonna get changed get ready for the day and head out and grab a pumpkin cream cold brew because that is what is calling my name this morning it's 15 degrees out this morning so that qualifies as wearing Uggs right I'm gonna put them on anyways because I think it fits the vibes. We're going to get a pumpkin cream cold brew and we just need a little bit of the fall vibes going. Here's the little end of summer, kind of beginning of fall outfit of the day. I got this Revolve LPA sweater sleeves in brown because I literally wore the cream one so much that I was like, the brown one just makes sense. So I do have two of them now and that's how much I love them. Top is from Garage. Jeans are from Abercrombie and of course, little Uggs. So we are going to go head out and get our coffee. have secured the pumpkin cream cold brew pro tip get half the amount of the cold foam and then add a pump of chai you will not regret it it is literally so good kind of like a spicy dirty chai that isn't quite a dirty chai because it tastes more like coffee but has like a hint of chai and it's just so good clearly i am a sipping girly but we also stopped at bulk barn because i was out and about and alan and i are finally seeing oppenheimer today he has been raving about this movie like for months before it came out and it has just taken us so long to go see it because i feel like this summer has just been so busy but i picked up some snacks and then also just a few other things that i needed at bulk barn while i was out I grabbed a bunch of chia seeds and then some cacao nibs and shredded coconut, non-bleached, no sulfur added, so important, and also non-sweetened as well. But grabbed these are always my go-to ingredients for my fruit bowls, just to add a little bit more fats and then protein as well. 
And then I also just grabbed a little pea and lentil soup blend because it's getting to be fall. I love making soups in the fall and this is definitely my go-to from Bulk Barn. It's just got split green and yellow peas, red lentils, green lentils, and then some bulgur as well. And I think there might be some other things in there that I just don't know, but I grabbed some of that. And then last but not least, we always have balance and these are our movie snacks. So I got some chocolate covered almonds, which is my favorite and my go-to. And then some Sharkies and frog gummies. Because what is movies without a little bit of snacks? And movie theater snacks are just too expensive for me. So we grabbed a bag of gummies from Bulk Barn. We actually ended up booking the 3 p.m. Oppenheimer movie because it was just way less full, had better seats. I can't believe that the movie's been out for almost a month and a half and it still is consistently selling out and full, but I'm excited to finally go see it. Like I said, I do have to do a little bit of work though before we go out and have to get my little work day in before our 3 p.m. movie this afternoon. But thankfully I have my little pumpkin cream cold brew to get me through until then. We did a little outfit change and are heading out to Marked for dinner tonight. We also stopped by a jazz bar after the movie, which was amazing. If you guys know me by now, I am such a sucker for live music and live jazz in particular. I'm a big jazz girl. So there's this one jazz bar that Al and I have been wanting to stop by for a while and Greg, his friend, wanted to go to too. So we just popped by and it was so good. Again, I didn't film a ton in the jazz bar just because I feel like it's a little disrespectful to be on your phone or like be filming and stuff while they're performing. So I didn't get a ton of that, but so good. If you've never been to a jazz bar, highly recommend. But we are going to go grab some dinner now. Like I said, just did a quick little outfit change into this cute little brown satiny top from Revolve. Saturday you guys this morning I have spent kind of cleaning up and just doing a little bit of a Saturday reset I don't know why I woke up with this insane urge to like wash all my sheets wash all my towels just get a bunch of loads of laundry on but I just woke up and I was like we're doing a little Saturday reset this morning so that is what I've been up to, but I'm just currently finishing up my little cup of morning coffee. But I'm gonna go head to the gym soon to get a little bit of movement in. I'm not quite sure what I wanna do today. I was trying to get Alan to go for a run with me, but we might end up going for a run tomorrow morning now. So not 100% sure if that's gonna end up happening. We have been running a lot recently together, which I love, like at least once a week, which is not like me. But I was telling you guys before that I've started slowly getting into running a little bit and Alan loves running. So I feel like he is my confidence boost and anytime I want to go for a run, he is normally down to go. So I have been loving doing that, but I think I'm going to go 
maybe do a little bit of an upper body day or like a full body day i'm not really feeling legs today because i just did a full leg day like two days ago so i'm thinking i'm either gonna do a full body or an upper body day as a side note i opened my balcony screen door and then i also opened up my little window in my bedroom which i haven't done in forever and it's got such a nice breeze and airflow going in the saturday vibes are just vibing i feel like i've got fresh air in here i'm feeling good it's a beautiful sunny morning and i think we have a little heat wave coming which is not uncommon for the beginning of September in Toronto, but it's supposed to be 40 degrees next week. So I don't know how I feel about that, but also I kind of love it. Like I'm ready for fall, but also like, I don't want the warm weather to go away yet. Before I head to the gym, I quickly wanted to talk about the other drink that I made this morning, which was Dr. Kelly Ann's bone broth. I have been drinking bone broth a lot more recently and this has been my go-to it's really good for promoting gut health joint health and is filled with collagen and protein it has 15 to 16 grams of protein per serving and 5.5 grams of collagen and then only one gram of carbs so very macro friendly but also the dr kelly ann bone broth comes in so many different flavors and also comes in a liquid which is like this or in powdered satchel packets as well so great for on the go or if you like drinking it just at home i have been drinking it just like a cup in the morning in a mug but it's also great if you want to add it to soups or other food dishes as well the bone broth is slow simmered and is also made from grass-fed bones is filled with so many nutrients and vitamins and is a great way to promote healthy gut health as well as healthy joint health but I will leave the link for Dr. Kelly Ann's bone broth down below. It's available on drkellyann.com, but I will link all the ones below. I have been loving this lemon lavender one. It definitely is a different flavor than like a typical bone broth that I think you would see out there, like a regular chicken or lemon or herb, but I have been loving the lavender. But I will leave the links down below for you guys to go check out. A big thank you to Dr. Kelly Ann's bone broth for sponsoring today's video. I have been absolutely loving their bone broth, but I'm gonna go head out to the gym now and get my morning workout. Hey, you, though you might be a liar and a cheat too. I just can't quit you now because I love you. Yes, I do. I can't let you go, baby. I can't let you go, baby. Because I love you, I love you, I love you. No, no, no. I went straight from the gym to getting ready to go out because Ali is picking me up and we're gonna head out for a little lunch date. I honestly have not seen her in so long, so I'm really excited. I think we might do a little bit of vintage shopping as well, but here is the look. As a side note, I honestly, I feel like I've been really finding my own personal style recently and that makes me so happy because a big part of the 90 grow challenge for me was just finding myself again and feeling more like myself and me in my everyday skin and everyday life and I feel like I've slowly been starting to feel like that again and just I'm confident in what I'm wearing and putting together for outfits and honestly just makes me so happy to feel that way again because I feel like I lost that for a little bit and I'm slowly getting it back. one top I've Hello. secured nothing but we're on the hunt for some little white kitten heels
It was such a beautiful day out, but our little vintage shopping afternoon got cut a little bit short because it started pouring rain. But I'm thinking that this rainy afternoon is now calling for curling up on the couch with a tea and a book and reading because it's Saturday and I kind of just want to relax now that I'm back home because I had planned on being out pretty much all afternoon. But now that it's raining and I'm home, I'm thinking tea and a book sounds pretty good. We are doing a little bit of evening skincare. I'm finally taking off my makeup, but decided I wanted to do a little face mask tonight. Just like a little, a little sheet face mask. I haven't done one in a while and it's Saturday. So we're having a little Saturday self care night in. Maybe I'll watch a little bit more of The Summer I Turn Pretty because I have been loving that show. I feel like I've been going through it so fast. I'm on, I think, episode five. I think episode five. I can't remember if I'm on episode five or episode six of season one. Okay, so maybe I'm not going through it that quickly because I started it like a week ago. But I feel like that's fast for going through a show for me because I don't go through shows that fast especially in the summer in the winter and fall i go through shows more quickly but not in the summer i love these sheet type face masks when i still want to do a face mask but i want something i think a little bit more hydrating less abrasive than than like a clay mask or peel off mask or like something more chemical I just feel like these are a little bit softer if that makes sense It's a beautiful Sunday and I am currently getting ready just putting a little bit of makeup on because I'm going out to do a little beach Pilates class which I've never done before but we're heading to a beach to do Pilates on a beach and then I think going out for brunch with Yaz after but I just want to put like a little bit of like light glowy no makeup makeup on just to look a little bit put together for going out for brunch afterwards. We are hitting a little bit of a heat wave in Toronto and it's supposed to be 32 out today and then 37 for the rest of the week, which is kind of crazy. But I'm kind of here for the end of summer vibes. Like I'm ready for fall, but also I don't want the warm weather to go away. So I'm kind of okay with it. I have been loving this more orangey toned blush. It's the peach filter one from Revolution Beauty. Um, I don't know why, I just feel like it looks a little bit more sun-kissed and glowy and kind of leading me into fall. Like it's definitely more peachy orangey than pink, but I think it's really pretty and just something a little bit different than what I've normally been doing. And then to finish up, we're just doing a little bit of the brown YSL Lash Clash Mascara definitely has been my go-to this summer. I just think it's really light and pretty and like doesn't look as harsh as a black mascara for a no makeup makeup look. Here is the whole outfit vibe. I'm kind of hoping I'm not too hot in this little sweater. I mean it is literally a hold sweater but it is pretty hot out so I don't know if I'll be too warm but I thought this was cute. It's giving sporty and chic and I wanted to wear this light baby blue TNA set that I've had for a while that I haven't worn in a little bit because I thought it was kind of just cute and pastel-y.
All right, here's the lunch spread. We have some salads and hummus, and then we picked up some coffee from Bud's, which is also, also right here. She is rosy, she is sweaty, taking you guys that not only did I bike 20 kilometers today, but I also did a Pilates workout in the sun, and I definitely think we're in need of a cold shower and some post sun and sand aftercare just to make sure that my skin is hydrated and not burnt but Yaz gave me a new screw for my camera my camera literally has had a lost screw and my screen been like broken since Alan and I's London trip in May and I finally have a spare screw to fix it but I think I'm gonna hop in and have a cold shower I am literally dying it is like 36 degrees outside and I just biked approximately 10 kilometers home so I'm very sweaty very tired and just need to like cool my body and I feel like rehydrate and calm down after this afternoon of sun and sand let's go through my post beach day essentials first off cold shower always and I love a soothing body wash so this is the necessaire one it's eucalyptus anything that has some vitamins is nourishing for your skin but this is my favorite as soon as you're out of the shower we go in with the body serum from necessaire as well fragrance free this helps to hydrate it's got hyaluronic acid so anything that's really going to help if you have any dry leftover beach skin this is going to soothe all of that and then we're going in with a moisturizer and I have three here that I love. First up, the Aloe Glow System, the Superfruit Moisturizing Body Lotion with amino acids and coconut oil. All of these ones that I'm going to show you are super hydrating, which is, I feel, really important after a beach day. The next one that I really love is the Josie Moran Argan Oil that is like a cream oil. Also Argan Oil, again, super hydrating. And then the other one I have is another Josie Moran Argan Oil. Just, I feel like anything that's oil and balmy to help rehydrate the skin after a day in the sun. Next up, we go in with a gentle deodorant and I have been loving Wild, I think, just because they're reusable and refillable and just better for the earth and also natural deodorant, which I personally love, and this is just what I've been going with. I think this one is the sea salt one. It feels very summery, so I've been loving that. And last up, we are going in with a lippy, which recently I have been loving the road, just the unscented plain one for after a beach day. I just want something that's really hydrating and nourishing for my lips. I love the scented and flavored ones as well, but Right now I have just the unscented one on the go. And then my last, last step is throwing on a loose, cute PJ set. Anything that if you have burns, it's not going to rub and irritate. So I like just something loose and comfy. This one is from The Gap and I got it for Christmas last year, but I'll try and link it down below if they still have it available because I'm honestly obsessed with it and I think it came in a few different colors. I just think it's so cute and I love a good boxer short and like, loose bra tank top as pjs and just after you're all like lotioned up and creamy just something that's like light to throw on over top i personally love but i am going to end off this vlog here so i hope you guys enjoyed this little weekly vlog i feel like we got up to a lot of fun end of summer activities and it was just a good week but i'm ready to get into fall i mean not that fall is coming super soon there's this heat wave in toronto right now but I think that I'm ready to get like back into routine. I got my end of summer fun out, but obviously I feel like life is definitely going to look a lot different this fall than any other year because I'm not in school anymore. Stay tuned for more wedding series episodes coming sometime in September, October. I have a few more coming, I'm excited for those. There's a lot going on in the coming weeks, so stay tuned, but I love you guys so much and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.